Hey folks, today I'm sharing a much requested video on how to make sourdough bread, in this case whole grain, this is going to be 100% whole wheat sourdough bread in a bread machine or a bread maker. This is a little Breville baker's oven bread machine that I got. You can see the paddle comes out there. Um, I bought this off a Facebook marketplace for about, I think it was about $35, $40 about a year ago now. And um, I've used it quite a lot and it's a great little machine. It's a very basic one, but it does have a separate dough setting and a bake only setting, which is very, very handy for making sourdough in a bread maker. Um, I've got the instruction book there, but I've never used it. To be honest with sourdough, you've kind of got to go your own way with these things. So I'll just talk you through this recipe and how I do it. I start off with 500 grams of whole wheat, which I'm going to mill into flour. You can use store-bought whole wheat flour if that's all you have. You can also make this um, style of bread with other flours as well. You could add small amounts of spelt or a bit of rye in there, whatever you like. But generally I'm starting with whole wheat and this type of recipe is designed for whole wheat flour because it's a very strong, uh, strong wheat which is designed for bread making. So I'm just milling my wheat takes a few minutes in my mock mill. Um, if you're interested to learn more about mock mill and where you can get them, um, I've got a page on my website dedicated to that. I'll put a link to that below the video. It doesn't take too long. I have turned the volume down on the milling in this, so it is a bit louder in real life, just in case you're wondering. That's done. So I've got my 500 grams of flour there, all lovely and fresh, beautiful stuff. This is Australian organic um, whole wheat flour. It's a hard white wheat, which is about the only type I can get here. So now I get my bread pan out of the machine and make sure the kneading paddle is already in. And we start off with adding the water. So I'm using 400 grams of water in this recipe, which is about 1.6 metric cups. Um, and that's 80% water of the total flour weight, which is 500 grams of flour. So 400 grams of water. And then I put in my sourdough starter. This recipe does not use any yeast at all other than a sourdough starter. I use about 100 grams of uh, whole wheat sourdough starter but you could use a rye starter use any starter that you have um, about half a cup 100 grams is all you need um, also my starter is fed um, with equal weights of flour and water it's a hundred percent hydration starter in case you're wondering then to the liquid portion I add about 25 grams of honey which is about one Australian metric tablespoon which holds 20 milliliters in volume but if you're just doing it by weight go with 25 grams of honey that's what I used and then all of the flour goes on top of that so basically all the wet ingredients go into the bottom and the dry ingredients go on the top which is a bit of a standard bread machine method that they generally show but we won't be putting any yeast on the top of our flour this is a pure sourdough recipe. The last thing that I do add on the top is the salt. If you wanted to, you could pre-mix it into the flour, but I just let the machine do all the mixing. So I'm using eight grams of salt, which is about one and a third metric teaspoons. Now I get my machine out. I like to put everything into the bread pan um, outside of the machine just so I don't get any flour or anything into the baking chamber of the machine and to start off with this bread we're going to use the dough cycle to knead the dough so put your bread pan into your machine and click it into place and I just go through and select dough which is the final setting on this little bread machine. This is a pretty basic bread maker. So if you've got a basic one, that, as long as it's got a separate bake cycle, um, you could get away with it. So just press dough setting and press start. And it starts off with this very slow little 
intermittent kneading and then after a minute or so a couple of minutes I think it starts kneading faster but I just thought I'd show you what it looks like I have been thinking about trying to do an auto least version of a whole wheat sourdough bread in a bread maker because I love the flavor of a whole wheat dough that has had that auto lease um, added to it which is where the flour and the water are soaked without any starter or salt to begin with. Um, to me the flavor of that whole wheat bread is so much more improved although this one's really good with the honey the honey does really help this um, but I'm going to try that maybe in a future video or in a blog post um, but while this is kneading away normally I would have the lid down but I've left the lid open to show you what I'm doing I'm just feeding my starter there in the background um, and there you go there's the the kneading going up to full speed so this dough cycle it needs this dough for half an hour which seems like a very very long time and it is a long time but if you've got a strong hard white wheat the type of wheat that is grown um, you know chosen a selected variety for bread to make bread flour or bread wheat um, then hard white wheat varieties uh, will stand up to this amount of kneading quite well and even though it looks very vigorous you see how the dough kind of sticks to the side of the pan and then the paddle just goes around at the bottom it's actually a relatively gentle kneading the whole dough isn't being kneaded all the time it's just little bit by little bit um, you can see the steam forming on the top of the window there too i've, I've brought this forward um, this is at the end of the the dough cycle or getting close to the end you can see the dough is a lot smoother it's looking really good um, the steam on the top these machines they add some heat to this dough as it's kneading so once the dough has finished being kneaded I turn the machine off uh, to prevent it getting even hotter through the rest of the dough cycle but I just wanted to show you the gluten development there it well and truly passes the window pane test uh, it's a really lovely well developed whole wheat bread dough so I just shut the lid there but turn the machine off because if you leave this dough setting like the dough cycle goes for an hour and a half but it does punch down and and it keeps a bit of heat going into the dough so I just turn it off and it's really just the kneading that we're looking for and then it's just a matter of leaving the dough to ferment for a few hours depending on the weather and your dough temperature it might take anywhere between three and six hours once your dough has fermented in the pan and it's risen up like this one has um, there are a couple of things you can do I take it out of the pan and give it a bit of a shape and I take the paddle out before I rise it and bake it again but if you want to you can just bake it straight away just let it rise up in the pan after all that kneading so you know give it a few hours or as long as it takes and just press bake and and just bake the dough just as it is but personally I like to add in this extra step of taking it out of the pan taking the paddle out which creates less of a hole in the bottom of your bread and um, I don't bother cleaning the pan out or anything I just try and get as much dough out as I can um, I do spray the bottom of the pan or put a little bit of pan release um, goopy mixture I'll put a link for that my recipe for that below but I'm using the can spray today put a little bit of something or a bit of butter in the bottom uh, just so that the bread comes out more easily at the end and you don't get it stuck to that little um, paddle holder thing at the bottom and then I just give it a bit of a light shaping and rise it again before I bake it but like I said if you really want to use the bread machine for all of its convenience you could probably skip, uh, skip this shaping and final rising if you wanted to uh, I think I have done it that way and I think it turned out okay um, it's just up to you and you know what sort of aesthetics you want I tend to want to go for a bit more of a nicer shaped bread for the bread machine even though my shaping is fairly rough it's not brilliant but there is the the shaped dough all I do now is put that back into the machine which is still turned off 
and just let it rise up again before we bake it. So really we're just selecting parts of the machine's abilities that it can do and, and making it kind of, we're just using it for what we want it to do to fit in with the sourdough. So this final proof, uh, it was quite a cold, a cold day at my place that day. It took about two hours and it doesn't look that much bigger than it was, but I'm going to show you a comparison just in a sec. There you go. So you can see the before one on the left and the ready to bake photo on the right. The one on the left, it's about the same height, but it's not filled out the pan. So look out for your dough to have really filled out the pan and raised up a little bit but it's not going to be a real dramatic rise for that final proof just bring it to a point where it feels a bit puffy and it looks like it's puffed up and it's filled out the pan nicely that's all you're looking for if you let it go too much higher it'll overproof and you'll get big bubbles up the top and really dense bread at the bottom which you don't want so once it's ready to bake just select bake the bake setting on your machine hopefully you've got a bake only setting and press start this machine bakes on the bake only setting for one hour but for me that's not quite enough so what I do is I let it run for the hour and then after that hour I can't adjust it on this machine it's a pretty basic one um, I turn it off and then turn it back on again start the baking just for another 15 minutes or so just set your own timer and then when that time's up just turn it off and take it out so I'm kind of manually increasing the baking time there make sure you turn off the machine and unplug it before you take the bread out and always use oven mitts because um, this will be very very hot and there's the final bread the honey in this really does help with the flavor it's just a gorgeous honey wheat, whole wheat sourdough bread. It's got a, uh, it's very pale on the top, which I'm not really used to. I like my, my loaves really well cooked. If you've seen any of my other whole grain sourdough videos, you'll know that I like a good um, brown crust on my bread. Um, but it's cooked and that's the main thing. There's no gumminess or stickiness inside. Uh, it got a little bit of a bursting crack on the top. It's well cooked. And you can see just a nice little neat hole on the bottom rather than that big hole, you know, from where the paddle is if you leave the paddle in. And there we have it. Lovely whole wheat sourdough bread made in a bread machine. I'm pretty happy with this. I really want to keep playing with this machine because I think, honestly, the options are endless for what you could do with it. I'd like to try a spelt loaf and a few other different things. And like I said before, try that autolis technique as well um, mixing the flour and the water first and then add the salt and starter later and here is the inside of the bread I thought I would show you that as I usually do you can see I've got a big hole there on the side that's because of my dodgy shaping but never mind it's lovely bread it's got a beautiful nice wheaty fragrant uh, honey fragrance it's very aromatic and sweet and not too sweet it doesn't taste sweet but it's got that really nice honey fragrance to it I can't describe it any better than that um, but it's really enjoyable it makes good toast it makes good sandwiches it's nice and soft and for me that's a pretty decent um, starter loaf for a whole wheat sourdough bread in a bread machine I hope you enjoy the video everybody and um, if you've got any feedback or comments or anything that you'd like that I didn't cover in the video, just ask in the comment section down below. And if you'd like to um, know anything more about this, all the links will be in the description box, um, including the full recipe. I'll put this on my website. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the next video. Bye.